Esta cámara no sirve, Ulito. Hi, how are you today? How are you? Nice to see you. How was your day? Tell me. Did you have a nice day today? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Excellent. Ready for the class. Excellent. I'm getting the list. So I start polling to see who are here today, right? Okay, ready, ready. I'm going to call you and you tell me present as soon as you listen to your name. Let's see. <clears throat> Carlos Ro Bella Lisbeth. Bella, Bella. No here, Bella today. Carlos Roberto. Carlos, no. Darling Jasmine. Present teacher. Nice, darling. Denis Adonai. Present teacher. Denis. 
Edgar Eduardo. Present teacher. Excellent. Gabriela Stephanie. Gabriela. No here, right? Okay. Herman Agustín. Jessica Yo. Raquel. Yes, este, excuse me, teacher. Tell me, Miguel. Herman, Herman puso en el chat que estaba trabajando. He's estaba working, trabajando. right? Working yeah, he told now. me he's he's working today until very late, he said. <clears throat> Thank you, Miguel. See, Jessica. Here, here. Good yes. evening, teacher. Good hi. evening. Hi, hi. Right on time, Jessica. Very good. Carla Maria. Present. Excellent. Carla Maria. Kelly, Marcela. Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. No, no here yet. Oh, yes. Hi, Kelly. Good evening. Thanks. Good evening. Marcelo Laimir. Present teacher. Todavía estoy trabajando. Oh, ok. Marcelo. Sí. Mauricio Giovanni. Present. Ok, good. Miguel Efraín. Present. Present yes. teacher. Ok. Moisés Elías. Present teacher. Lo oigo bien lejos. <ríe> lejos, 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 lejos lo oigo. Ok, Norma Maritza. Norma, dear. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Hi, Norma, how Hi. are you? Hi, thanks. Excelente. Pedro, An Pedro Antonio. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Pedro. I saw you connected at about seven. Sí, es que estaba probando porque me estaba dando problemas, pero... Creo que ah, logré solucionarlo, sí. Estaba en las pruebas yo también. Sí. <risa> <risa> ok. Ok, Ronald José. Ronald, Ronald. No, ya Ronald. No. Eh, Sabrina. Oh, Ronald, hello. Miren, ustedes son bien puntuales, así. Cuando lo llamo, pum, aparecen, ya ve. Eh, Sabrina Lisset. Sabrina, no here yet. Tamara Liset. Tamara. ¿Mm? Waldemar. No Present here teacher. Yet. Ok, great. Walter. Walter, Walter. No here, Walter. Bueno. Nice. Oh. Ok, Ronald. Nice to see you, eh? It was, eh, was it a nice day for you? Yes. Hi, teacher. Creo Hi. que ya lo hey. mencioné. Yes, ya me yes, por... yes. Yes, Gabri. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I see you're here. Ok, tell me, how was your day? Good? Did you have a good day? Tidy. Oh, <laughs> tidy. It was oh, it was a tidy day. So sorry to hear that. Okay. But the weekend it's getting very, very close. So that's that's good, right? We're getting close to the weekend. So nice to nice to to see. Yeah, I mean I know you're tired. It's Wednesday. It's typically that Wednesdays we will we feel tired, right? Wednesdays. But then it comes Thursday, Friday, and that's Saturday. So that's that's the good thing. Okay, a ver, I'm going to share this the screen. Today, uh, we are going to be checking vocabulary. Remember, this unit that we are covering is, is a unit about accounting. 13 today, right? Yes. Yeah, 13 with the time. 
December is a, is a month that passes really, really fast. Let me share. Okay, I'm moving here. I'm sharing with you. <clears throat> that. I stop. I'm in a new computer. That's why you see me like, oh, what is it? <laughs> well, new, but it's not that I bought a new computer. I wish. I wish. I wish. I'm sorry. I start. So. Today, we're talking about accounting vocabulary, right? Accounting. And you're going to learn to write or to describe objects related to accounting and to money, right? Not just, not just accounting, but talking about money, money, money in general, okay? So that's your objective. Participants will be able to write adjectives about objects and people. So everything related to, to money, right? Okay. Remember one of these days we were talking about financial statements? Well, financial statement we said is a record, right? But it's a written record that all the companies keep with the purpose of uh, having a control of the financial performance of the company, right? So they know if the company is doing well, if the company is lost, if the company is getting in real numbers. So that's what the financial statement is for. And we're going to see some more vocabulary related to finan financial things, right? Okay, a ver, you remember this vocabulary, let's see. What is cash flow? Who can tell me? Cash flow. Mm -hmm. Let me get a pen. Number three, teacher. Cash flow, it's... Incoming, uh, upcoming of cash is operating, investing, and financing activities. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. Let me see if I can write. Yes, I did a little eight. Very good. And then, and what about income statements? What are in? What is the meaning of the word income? What does it mean, income? What is income? Do you know? Do you have in any idea? Spanish or? Uh-huh. Entradas. In, la entrada, exactly. The money that I receive, right? A December is a month when people receive a lot of money, right? With the aguinaldo in the message, well, the Christmas bonus, right? That's we said yesterday, aguinaldo is Christmas bonus. So with the Christmas bonus, indemnizations, the salary, people get a lot of income, but also have a lot of outcomes, right? Because there are a lot of things to spend in the Christmas party, the next year with the books and the children's registration at school. So, uh -huh, that's income, right? Not just the companies receive an income, but also you as, as people, right? You receive an income and then we have a lot of outcome. Okay, so we say income is number four. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Income is number four. Yes, or no. What yes. Yes, right? Okay. So that's income. Uh-huh. That's income statements. What about equity statements? Mm -hmm. It's a number one. Mm -hmm. 
Reinforce okay, the change in retaining earnings of a company uh -huh. during that steady period. Retain earnings. Okay. And the last one, letter D. What's a balance check? So number two. Do normal people make a balance sheet? What do you think? I mean, you and me, right? Like normal, you and me. Do normal people make a balance sheet or is just for companies? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, if you have a business, it doesn't matter if it is not a big company. If you have a business, you can uh, make a, a balance check, right? You can check how you're doing, all the, the things that you have, the things that you have to pay, right? That includes all the, the equipment that you, in, that you have in your company or in your mini business that you may have. And uh, of course, if you have a, a business, it is necessary even if it is not a big, big, big company. Okay, any question? No question. Hmm? No? Okay, Fire. Right, now look at these words. We have balance, overdrawn, borrow, bank manager, bank services, and bank statement. So we continue talking about money, but here we have new vocabulary. Repeat balance, balance. Balance. Over overdrawn. 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 Borrow. borrow, 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 borrow. Bank manager, bank manager, bank manager, bank services, bank services, bank services, bank statement, bank statement, bank statement. Okay, so what is the meaning of these words? What's a balance? Balance can have more than one meaning. For example, if you say, hmm, she has a good balance. Look, she can walk with, with very high heel shoes and she has a good balance, okay? Or you say, hmm, I need a balance to check um uh, how heavy my phone is right so i need a balance um another definition for balance will be like the one we have in here when we're talking about money so what would be a balance mm -hmm. who can tell me I think teacher uh, letter letter E to get money from a bank now that a person does not um and so has to pay back to the bank at later time. Okay. I think that's vamos a ver. What letter? What letter here? You say letter, letter C? Or letter, which one? Okay, read all the definitions carefully, right? And then you give, and then you make a decision.
The letter F, teacher. Uh -huh. Balance the amount of money in account. Could be positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Could be positive or negative. So you are in red numbers. Or you are in black numbers. Right? Okay. okay. What is overdrawn? Overdrawn. What is? I'm going to write a word here and maybe you recognize this word. Let me see. Uy. The letter, Teacher, the letter D is uh, bank service. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Check this word that I'm writing. Do you know the meaning of that word? Withdraw. No. No. Vaya, vamos a ver esas palabras entonces. Vamos a ver. Here. Aha, uh -huh. what is. You told me, letter D, the product that the bank offers is bank services. Yes, yes. borrow is uh, to get money from the bank. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. To get e. money. <laughs> that a person does not own so that. To pay back to the bank at, at a later at time. A later time. Uh -huh. That is borrow. Number two, number two is number C. What? Number two is C. To have used more this money. Is uh -huh. To have used more money than there is in the account. So that money is owned to the bank. Yes. Okay, that's overthrown. <laughs> yes. Nice. And we are missing, well, we already used letters C, letter D, and letter F. And, and number and four, e. the bank manager is letter B, the person who is in chain, charge, in charge of a branch of the bank, or no? Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> Remember, I guess it was in level three where you had to where you had to use this word in charge of. What does it mean in charge of? What's the meaning of that word? In charge of. And I understand that la persona que está a cargo de la agencia del banco. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's in charge in charge of. Are you in charge of a group of people? In my case, yes. Yes, you are in charge of a group of people. Yes. Okay. Good. And the, and the last one, bank statement. The, the last one, that's easy. It's the last letter, number six. Letter A. Letter A, exactly. That's either a paper or electronic summary of the money paid into or out of an account that month. Right? So that is letter A. A ver, do you have any questions here? Any questions? If you have questions, uh, let me know, right? I know there could be many words that will be a little bit new for you. Hmm? Uh, 
A ver, then, if you don't ask me, I will ask you. <ríe> Esta teacher, ¿para qué pregunta? Vaya, a ver, what is a summer? What does it refer to when it says either a paper or electronic summary of the money pay? Mm -hmm. An electronic summary. of the money paid, what is it? What do they refer to? Hmm? Who can tell me? Yes. Um. Sometimes, well, before, I don't show you one because I don't have, but before, I remember you used to get an envelope with a, with the amount of money that you had spent, right? Or the money that you had paid. So those, the two things were included there. The money that you had spent when you went shopping and you paid with the credit card and a, they gave you, they sent you an envelope with the amount, with the, with the detail, right? That's why it is a summary, with the detail of all the expenses that you did, right? All the things that you paid with the credit card. So that would be now, that's why it says paper or electronic. Now it is easier uh, with the bank in line, you can easily get your electronic summary, mm -hmm. right? You. you get an electronic summary instead of receiving many banks now don't send a paper uh, summary anymore, right? They have an electronic summary. Okay, Um. Hmm. what else? We already said what is in charge. What is branch? What's the meaning of branch? You already know that. A ver, branch. I told you, you don't ask me, I will ask you, right? Uh -huh. A ver, what is branch? Una agencia, teacher. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. That's it's like a repetition of, an, of, of another, of a company, right? Yes. Okay, so that's a branch, very good. Do you have many branches where you work? Does your company have any branches? No teacher, in my case. No branch. No branch. They are, they so, are unique. Yes, unique. Okay, okay. Vamos a ver what else here. Oh, look at this. What is the meaning of the word owed? You have used more money than there is in the account so that you so that money is owned to the bank. Mm -hmm. Money is owned to the bank. In Spanish, it's es como una deuda, teacher. Sí, sí. Owe. Own. You own money. Usted le debe, ¿verdad? Al banco. Le debe al banco. What is the difference between own and own? Like this. So let's una letra. Es que eh, own que es como que es algo propio de uno. Exactly. I own a phone, so it's mine, right? That's own, has to be with possession. And own, check that the pronunciation is very similar, right? But own, when you own money to the bank, this is in past, que conste, this is in past. The verb in present is owe. You owe, repeat, owe. 
owe to money. owe money to the bank, right? But in this case, this sentence is impossible. So that's why you say that money is owned to the bank. Se le debe dinero al bank, right? Como, no diríamos es debido al banco, suena raro. But the sentence here is impossible. Okay, vamos a ver. Well, bank offers, we said, uh, are the services. What, can you mention, can you mention any bank offers? What are the services that you can receive from the bank? Hmm? What are the services? Uh -huh. Who can tell me? Es todos los productos como los servicios, tarjetas de crédito. Uh -huh. Credit. Credit. And todos los productos eh, tangibles o intangibles que ofrece el banco. Mm -hmm. Ok. Por ejemplo. En los créditos, card. préstamos, tarjetas de uh -huh. crédito, uh, uh -huh. seguros personales, seguros para las tarjetas, tarjetas okay. de débito, uh -huh. eh, créditos hipotecarios. Ok. A ver, I'm going to give you two minutes. You see, en normal ready to us all the, the, the services that we can get from the bank. Now, I'm going to give you hmm, three, four minutes, I guess that will be enough, for you to tell me the name of those services in English. Uh -huh. What are the names? All of you, not only Norma, right? All of you. Uh, what are the names of those services in English? Mm-hmm. So tell me, uh, for example, uh, tarjeta de crédito would be a credit card, right? That would be a credit card. What else? Okay. <laughs> This is a um, credit card. Card. Credit card, yeah. And... Credit, the, eh, no sé, como hipotecario, no sé, the house how, or. How do, you, how do you call that in English? Oh, okay, how do you call that? How do you say crédito hipotecario? Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you say it? Credit, no, hipotecario, no, I don't know. Deposit. Um, deposit. Deposit is when you go put money. You have an, a bank account, and then you say, okay, I have $50. I don't want to use them. I want to keep them, right? Then you go put them in the bank. This, the insurance, insurance, insurance? An insurance. That is insurance? What, you, what you pay. Uh, for example, when you want to, um, to protect your house, right? You want to protect your car, you want to protect your house, or even for your health, you pay some extra money eh, for getting a protection. That's an insurance. A ver, I'm going to add, I'm going to add an extra page, and we're going to write the words there. Mm -hmm. I'm you. Aha. A ver, so we have we said 
the insurance. You told me a credit card. What else? Hmm? What else? Mm -hmm. uh, picture is like uh, savings. a, a saving a, saving a saving account, account. Sí. and debit account. debit cards debit card yeah mm -hmm. what else and loan teacher a loan loan a loan a loan es un crédito ah, y en préstamo es es lo mismo es, un es lo préstamo, mismo verdad crédito ah, sí okay okay loan y cómo se llama ajá ahí le llaman también le pueden decir a bank loan que es un préstamo bancario verdad a oh, un crédito este señor ¿Y cómo se dice hipoteca? ¿Cómo se dice eso? Mortgage. A mortgage, yes. Mortgage. Eso es una hipoteca, un mortgage. Si ustedes fijan, cuando oyen noticias de Estados Unidos... Ellos hablan mucho del mortgage, que, que la mortgage, la mortgage, porque mortgage es hipoteca, ¿verdad? Y es, es cuando usted, bueno, usted ya sabe que es una hipoteca, ¿no? When you buy a house, and, eh, but the house is not yours. You're paying to the bank, and the bank is the one that pays the house for you, right? That's a mortgage. What else? What else? Any other word that you can think of related to money? Mm -hmm. What do you think? No more. Mm -hmm. En cre eh, student loan, estudiante, uh -huh. yes. student loan. Ajá, uh -huh. that's another service that you can get from the bank, right? Okay, very, very good. And then all the payments that you can do. Teacher, en ATM, the ah, service el, el, ATM. El ATM es el cajero, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, el cajero automático. Ajá, y remember, I told you, I'm going to write it here. Eh, this word, now that you saw, that you said ATM, I remember. When you say withdraw, withdraw es retirar. Retirar. When you go to the ATM and you get money from the ATM, eso se dice <coughs> withdraw. Withdraw. Is the same the ATM totally total? <laughs> eh, no es retirar. No. Oh, retirar oh, dinero. Only retirar. Ajá. Okay. Sí. Cuando usted well, va y saca should... dinero de, de su cuenta, ¿verdad? Y el ATM con que ofrece las distintas gestiones sin ir al banco, que se deposita, ah. retira, paga ahí mismo el cajero total que le llaman. Ajá, eso that is, es como eh, ATM. An ATM total. Right? Oh, okay. That would be like an ATM total. And now that you have uh, online bank and many other things that are completely new, right? Hmm? But if you go to the ATM and you get cash, mire, otra palabra, cash, 
right? You get cash from the ATM. That is a Telebanking. That is withdraw. Telebanking too, uh -huh. that's the electronic one, right? And you may have also credit. Credit is when you get money from the bank as a, a promise that you will pay for it later, right? Okay, any other question here? Any other word that you know? Basically that, right, related to bank. Okay, repeat, insurance, insurance. 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 Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. Savings account. Savings, Savings account. account. Bank loan. Bank, Bank loan. loan. More cash. More cash. More cash. A payments. 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 ATM. 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 Withdraw. 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 Debit card. Debit card. Debit card. Student loan. Student loan. Student loan. Cash. 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 Credit. Credit. When you go to a restaurant, for example, a restaurant or a store, and you pay, uh, you pay with the card, with the credit card, they ask you, how will you pay? Credit or cash? So credit means with the credit card, right? Or if you will pay in, in cash with the, with the bills, right? Okay, any question? A question here. Hmm. We learn a new vocabulary, right? Related to banking. Remember, a uh, this is everyday vocabulary. No lo usamos en inglés ahorita aquí, verdad? Pero who knows? In the future, you never know if you will need that vocabulary. Okay, I'm moving now. Check. What you're going to do here is we continue uh, with the accounting vocabulary. So you're going to arrange here from one to six, the order of the cash flow. Se acuerdan, mencionamos cash flow. What is cash flow? Vamos a ver if you remember. What's cash flow? Do you remember? We saw it at the beginning of the class. What is cash flow? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Who can tell me? Flujo de efectivo. Exactly. That's the okay. cash flow. Yeah. A cash flow is when you uh, receive money. When you receive money from uh, okay, somebody. And then you move the money, money comes, money goes, money comes, money goes. That's the, the, the cash flow. So here we have a, a, the cycle. What's the cycle of a company, right? The cash flow cycle. So look at them. You can go to your manual, right? You can see that in your manual. And put them in order. It says number one is the first one, of course, right? Number one is the first uh, in the order of the cash flow, right? How they how they move. First number one, what is the first step of the cash flow circle of a company? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to think. Mm -hmm. 
Let me know when you're ready. Teacher, tell me. Um, number one is uh, making your payments. Okay, vamos a ver. I don't sure. <laughs> you don't think. Why? Oh, you see. <laughs> That's number one, pounding your purchases. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Online. That's okay. Okay, you put in your purchases. Okay. Um, what would be number? Managing your cash. Number two. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Stack of goods and Stop. services. Oh. Okay. So managing your cash is number six. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what do you think is number three? Después de tenerlo todo, administrar el dinero. Okay. Bueno. Okay, seguiré viendo. Ajá. A ver, ya no le doy copia. <laughs> what is number number three? Oh, I already show it to you. What's number three? Number two. I already Reser show it to you. You didn't see it, right? Okay. Reserving <laughs> your payments. Mm. No. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Managing. No. Post. Making. Um. Mm -hmm. What's the next one? Who can tell me? Aha, uh -huh, Gabi. Mm. 
Number three is funding your sales. Mm -hmm. Founding your sales, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> A ver, what is the meaning of the word founding? What's the meaning? Financier. Uh -huh. That's the money provided especially by an organization or government. Yeah? For a particular purpose. For example, when you have a project and somebody founds your project, that means that they give you the money that you need for your product or for your, for your project, right, in general. Another definition is the action or practice of providing money for a particular purpose. In this case, that's why we have the money for purchases. When you will go shopping in your company and the money uh, that will found your sales, right? Mm -hmm. Los fondos, right? Okay, what is number four? Number four? Is receiving your payment? Number receiving four? your payment. Receiving your payment. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> you did it. Very good. <laughs> Very good, very good. Okay, uh -huh. number five is uh, managing your cash. Oh, no, making your payments. Yeah, that's okay. Number Managing six. your cash, yes. Because you receive the payment, now you have cash, right? How will you manage that? And then? Making your payments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Making your payments. Okay, good. Because uh, remember, it's a cycle, right? That we're talking about the cycle. So first, I don't have money. I will look for the funds to go shopping. It doesn't matter if I buy the product ready, the one I'm going to sell later or if I'm going to buy the raw material for um, what I make in my company. So I'm getting the funds first. And when I have the funds, I stock all the things I buy, right? And I stock all the goods that I'm going to sell. So I make a big quantity of, of things there ready for selling, so I keep them. So in case somebody gets to my store and say, you know what, I need 50, I that same little quantity, right? I need 50 t-shirts, but I want all of them to be green. And you say, green, 50? No, I don't have that amount. But if you thought well, and you know St. Patrick's Day is coming soon, you get ready with the stock of green t-shirts or for example, Christmas, right? You can found your purchase by a lot of yeah, Christmas balls or Christmas decoration in general, right? And then you can stock those goods, check it. Que good, aquí tiene una S, ¿verdad? No es good de bueno sino que estamos hablando de bienes. That's, that's how you call it, bienes, the goods. So you stock goods or services, right? And then you also found your sales. Why, who can tell me? Why do we found the sales too? Because it's logic that I found the purchases, but why the sales? Why do I have to found the cells? Who can give me an explanation for that? Huh? Who's that? Who can't tell me? Okay. 
porque found in your shells. Uh -huh, Gabi. We said that founding is uh, getting the money, right? That will be uh, used for that, we can say. But why founding yourselves? Gabi, Gabi? Hi, teacher. Hi. Why do we say that this is the third uh, cycle or the third step in the cycle? Why founding yourselves? Do we spend money on the sales? Yes, I spend money. Mm -hmm. And how? How do we spend money on the sales? Huh? Who wants to help Gabi? Mm. Remember, uh -huh, there are a couple of things, right? But remember that we say founding yourselves, yo necesito conseguir el financiamiento también para las ventas. Why? Because I'm going to pay uh, somebody to sell the product. Right. Another thing is the package. I need to get the package for putting the product, right? And also, if I need to pay a shipping for sending the product. <coughs> so that's why founding the sales, it's, it's also important. <coughs> And then you receive the payments, you manage the cash, and you pay what you owe to these people who found your purchase. Yeah, that's the circle. It begins again to stock the goods, to fund yourselves, to, to receive the payment, to manage the cash, make the payments, and found your purchase again. So that's why it is called a cash flow circle because of a cycle, because it is like, like a circle that you are moving and repeating the same thing because the money is coming and then you use it, it goes out again, it comes, you buy things, you sell them, you get money and you, so it goes like that, right? That's a cycle. Any question here? Question? No question. Question? Mm -hmm. No question. No for question. Me. Okay. But uh, now we are moving. We continue talking about purchasing. We continue talking about money. See? Now look at this. Um, you have a document. Check what type of document is it? What type of document is it? Who can tell me? A ver. What is it? Check here. What is it, Edgardo? Uh, where is the uh, what teacher? What is this document? Uh, it's a, I, I think it's purchase order. Exactly. It is a purchase order, right? And then uh, you have this is, I will say it's the name of the company, right? Builder MT Management Technology. And then you have the date is <laughs> that you hit. It is from 2017 date. 
January 9, 2017. The job number is AH00011. Order date is January 9, 2017. And then you have the vendor, Bridgetown Building Materials. 35 to 10 North Highway 24, Denver CO 8224. That's the address of the vendor. And the job address is 1010 Deer Trail, Lakewood CO 8229. And then we have a uh, please supply the following, right? Please supply the following. Uh, and then you have the item represented in, in numbers, that's like a code, the items description, frame materials for floor, frame materials for floor. So you put, remember uh, previously we learned that when you make a purchase order or you complete a purchase order or any claim, you put the things in one, 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 right? Especially if they don't have the same code. You have to put them in different lines. And here, of course, you have the price, right? You have the price. At the end, you have the company Bridgetown Building Materials, the date, the signature of the builder, and the date again. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move. We have some questions. You can come back here, read it, the information, and then you go as answer the question, right? Um, check how many items are they buying? How much is the total price? How many items are they buying? Mm -hmm. And two. what is the total? Two. How many items? Only two. Yes. And what's the total? Uh, six thousand for the uh -huh. uh, six thousand for four hundred for four hundred feet no fifteen fifteen point twenty exactly exactly that's six thousand four hundred fifteen twenty nice 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 a big amount of money. Okay. Any questions here? No questions? Mm -hmm. bah. What are you going to do? You're going to uh, complete, right? You're going to complete this purchase order. And then you will take turns to describe it to the class. Okay. So you have the company you create or invent the name of the company that is buying, the, the phone, the address, who's the vendor, chip to, a donde quiere que lo manden, right? Mire. A ver. Chip to, sería esta descripción de acá, right? So where do you want, oops, sorry. Where do you want them to send it? And the date, the purchase order, you invent a number to the phone and the address. Okay. Pacha, go, 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 go ahead. Let's complete it. And of course, here you have the details of the product, the quantity, the unit price, for example, if you say um, uh, computers, right? Quantity, two. Unit price, uh-huh, exactly. But the computers, if both computers have the same code, you can leave them in the same place. But if they have a different code, for example, one is a PC and the other is a laptop, they will be in a different line. How many computers? If you say, well, I want to HP lab. Both are similar, right? And then the quantity, you can say two. Unit price, cuánto vale una, right? 
you say, well, one is 550. And then you put here the total. The total is 1,100. So if they are, that's why I say, if they have the same code, you can put them together and you say, for example, quantity two or five or three or 10, right? And then the price that one of them has, and then the total. For example, if you say, I want an HP computer, how much is the unit price? Cuánto vale uno, una laptop? Y ahora, ¿cuál es el total de las tres? Right? Mm -hmm. So you go ahead there. Oh, complete. Teacher, complete. tell me, is 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 the um, the complete? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. We will come our company. Yeah, about your company exactly. Okay. Thank you let me know when you finish, right? Thank you. 
How are you doing? Uh -huh. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. wants to cheer. A ver, a ver. Who will be cheering? Let's listen to Marcelo. Marcelo has been very quiet today. Uh -huh. Tell me, what do you have?
Marcelo, Miguel, Moses. Anybody ready? Teacher, I have uh, my example. Uh -huh. Tell me. Company, Home Depot. In the phone, 788-4434. Address, West Boulevard, number 378, Las Vegas, Nevada. The salesman is a Mike School. Chip to Colegio Americano. Date, 12, 13, 20, 23. Uh, purchase order is the number 34567. The phone is 788-8924. Uh, and the address is uh, uh, West, uh, excuse me. The, the, the school is from El Salvador. Uh, from El Salvador, yes. It's, okay, um, then you can the give address. the address from El Salvador in, in Spanish. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Boulevard Orden de Malta, uh, number 841, San Salvador, El Salvador. Excellent. Uh, details. Number one is a uh, blue pencils. Quantity is with 150. Uh, unity price is uh, one dollar. Total 150. Uh, 150. Mm -hmm. Number two is uh, the terms is a uh, red pencils. 100. Uh, Unity price two dollars, total two hundred. Okay. Number three items is a table. Quantity ten. Unit price is fifteen. And total is a five hundred. And the last item is a chairs. Quantity three. Unit price is twenty. Total six. 660 and the general total is a thousand nine hundred ten. Okay, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miguel. Can I have a, one more volunteer to chair? Mm -hmm. One more volunteer. Cool. Oh. Yes, Jessica, go ahead. Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. And the company is uh, the Carpenter Store, phone plus one, 300 zero, one, three, four, five, six. The address is 18, 12, and 198 Avenue, Miami, Florida, and three, Three, four, five, and the vendor is Sara Martinez, and ship to Jessica Solano, Colonia Cima Cuatro, San Salvador, El Salvador. Date: 14, 40 December twenty twenty three, and purchase order ABC ten and ninety eight, and the tails is two. Two doors playable in Unite Price is seventy dollars. Total one hundred fifty four. And second item, Wangle Tables Cereal in the Unite Price one hundred eighteen. The total three hundred thirty four dollars. Only, only one product? Only one, only one, no, only two products. Only the two products. One is yeah, a because you're buying. <laughs> okay. Yes. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, one last volunteer. Who will be my last volunteer? Ah. Huh? A ver, a ver. 
If no, we move. One last volunteer. A ver, señorita Norma. Es Norma así como que, no, oh, yo me escondo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm listening to the information. Okay. Of my company. Okay, my company is intelligent. The number four is 22650065. Address is um, 7th uh, Street, no sé, Septima Calle Poniente. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the address if it is in El Salvador goes in Spanish, right? Okay, Septima Calle Poniente Vis, um, Colonia Escalón, número 5349-A, the, the sellers is Norma Portillo, And chip to where is chip, teacher? A quien se lo va a mandar. Oh, 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 the oh cargo expreso. Okay. Date. Um 21 of December. No, is this December 21, 20, 23. 2023. 2023. Okay. Purchase order is uh, 0073. C O um twenty the pawn is in that's the phone of the person who's receiving the product. Yes, it's in Guatemala. Okay. Is five zero two and twenty. Five three uh, forty 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 four zero one. Mm -hmm. Address is um zona once numero eh do numero que numero eh, en la zona once. Edificio Las Azaleas, número 14, Guatemala, Guatemala. Okay. And details is a machine printer of PVC. <laughs> And quantity is, is unity. Mm -hmm. Okay, and two, two machine. The unit price is I. I vale, mil cuatrocientos sesenta cada una. One thousand four hundred sixty. Well, one thousand one thousand four hundred sixty. Four hundred sixty. Sixty, exactly. Sixty, okay. In total is two thousand eighty. Hay que hacer la cuenta. <laughs> How many are you buying? Two. Uh, one is uh, 1460 y one thousand sesenta. Two, two, two machine. Oh, uy. Solo, 
<laughs> Use the calculator. Okay, but was that one thousand eighty eighty two thousand nine hundred nine. Uh -huh. Yeah, nine. Nine hundred twenty. Exactly. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Okay. Nice. Now, check. Uh, but remember, we're talking about banking, right? Is saving money important? What do you think? Is saving money important? Saving money. For saving. It doesn't matter if you have a piggy bag. A piggy bag is... Yo no tengo mi piggy bag acá. <ríe> el piggy bag es el puerquito. Oh. El puerquito que tenemos. Es saving. Es, es, es piggy bag. Piggy bag, así se llama. El oh. piggy bag. Entonces, eh, sometimes we save in the piggy bag, ¿verdad? So, is saving money important? It doesn't matter the quantity, but what do you think? Is saving money important? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the excuse some people give for not saving money? Oh, because the... Um... Um, impulsive uh, buy. Aha. Uh -huh. Sometimes we tend to buy things that we don't need, right? Just because they are beautiful, and then we don't need the the product. Pero mm -hmm. no tenemos el hábito. Or la cultura de ahorrar. Of saving. Exactly. And you see that goes to, to the last point, right? Now, how much, how much do you consider necessary to save every month? How much do you consider? Some people, uh, some financial people uh, mention a percentage. Right, they say like the twenty percent of the salary. Is that possible? Is it is possible that the the people say um, organize organize mm -hmm. organ, organize your, organize uh -huh. your your financial your your just get sus gastos. The expenses. The expenses. The expenses. It's very important. The, the money, the, the saving money. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. And that's very important. I consider the, um, como decirle, tener el, el, como el autocontrol de, no, el, no un cafecito todos los días, un cafecito gourmet, es, Claro, y eso se puede ahorrar. And buy the bag and prepare it at home. Hay formas, pero no tenemos la cultura y creo que es importante que empecemos a, a pensar en, en ese hábito. The future. Yeah. Yes. So, how that brings, uh, comes to the next question. How can you get the culture of saving? How? Hey, ahí está la cultura. No había leído. <laughs> you see, I was reading your <laughs> mind when I wrote the question. So, how can you get the culture of saving? Mm. It's not easy. But how can we get that culture? Mm. Um... Any form? How? Um, uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Open, tell open, me. Uh, open, open. A bank account. Uh, yes, teacher, excellent. Open a bank account. Bank account, okay. Uh -huh. in, in the office. Uh -huh. Tener un, una casilla. Ajá. Yeah. One no. dollar every day. At the end zone, you have 30 dollars a month, right? Ajá. Imagine. And, and the, in the bank offer the service the, que le descuentan automático y no. Ajá. Yes, that's true. Y se lo pasan a otra cuenta que solo es de ahorro y usted la puede retirar hasta en un año. Esa es una forma y no tiene que hacer nada. O sea, prescindir nada más y no contar exactly. con ese Exactly. Just forget about the money because you don't see it, right? And if you don't see it, you don't feel it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. So we will say, imagine. Imagine if you save one dollar every day. It's one dollar every day. In a month, thirty dollars. Thirty yes. times twelve. Wow. Three hundred sixty dollars a year. Multiply that for five years. One thousand eight hundred dollars in five years. Just saving one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar every day. Wow. So I won't I won't travel by Uber to save <laughs> that dollar. <laughs> okay. Eh, hey, nice, nice, nice. But now look at this. We will practice this conversation, but I will need volunteers. Here we have some of the words we were mentioning, right? Deposit, check, cash, checking account account, deposit, right? Oh, deposit again. Mm -hmm. um, I need to volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Norma will be the bank teller. Okay. And Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. You will be the customer. Okay, bank teller. Good afternoon. How are you? I am fine, thanks. What can I do for you? I'd like to make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit uh, $300. What account would you like to deposit into? It 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 into my checking account, please. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Okay. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Now I need two more volunteers to read. Two volunteers. A ver. Uh -huh. Vaya, Norma, you choose one, and Edgar, you choose the other volunteer. It's like, choose. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I am bank teller. <laughs> eh, okay, you choose. Okay. ¿Quién, quién yes, es yes. el próximo Switch. volunteer? Ah, okay. ¿Quiere que elija? <laughs> sí, escójame. Okay, Miguel, Miguel, Miguel. Jessica, Jessica. Vaya, Miguel and Jessica. Okay, I am here. Okay, great. Those are my volunteers, you see? <laughs> okay. Good afternoon. How are you? I am fine, thanks. What can I do for you? I would like to make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account would you like to deposit it into? My checking account, please. Did you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you. Now, you will choose my next two volunteers for 
the next conversation. Who will be the next two? Uh, Miguel, you choose the okay, bank I, teller. I choose, uh, Moises, Elias. Moises, Elias. And Jessica, you choose the customer. Carla. Okay, vaya, vaya. Moises, you begin. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. And Carla, okay. where is Carlita? Okay, there you go. Yeah. Vaya, Moises, to begin. Great, thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a saving account? That will be fine. Thanks. 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 In order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of $50? I'll deposit $300. I'll set up your account for you right now. Make sure you put um, $150? $150 in each account, please. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Moises, you choose my next volunteer to be bank teller, and Carla, you choose the next customer. Okay. Tamara? Who? Oh, Waldemar. Waldemar. Okay. And Carlita said Tamara, right? Okay, Waldemar, okay. you begin. Waldemar Bank Teller and Tamara Customer. Yo vi por allí a Waldemar. Sí, ¿verdad? Se fue, Waldemar. No, ahí está escondido. <laughs> <laughs> Waldemar, hello, hello, hello. A menos que vaya manejando. Are you driving? Are you driving, driving, driving? No. Mm. No está Waldemar. Se nos fue al baño. Así me dicen los niños cuando les digo, fulanito, no está. Perdón, teacher, I was in the bathroom. <laughs> Vaya, vamos a ver. Eh, Moisés, choose another volunteer. Hello. Valdemar is not here right now, so who will be the next one? Uh, Marcelo, teacher. Marcelo. Marcelo, Marcelo. Okay, Edgar está levantando la mano otra vez. No sé si se va a repetir. ¿Quién está levantando mano? Edgar Eduardo está haciendo. Ah, vaya, pues. Démosle, pues, Edgar. Y después okay. me pongo el Marcelo Valle. otra vez. Bye. Hello, Good morning. How are you today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? I check an account, please. Would you also like to open a saving account? That will will be fine thanks in in order to open these accounts you need to deposit a minimum i a minimum minimum of 50 dollar i'll deposit 300 dollars i'll set up your account for you right now make sure you put uh, one hundred 
fifty dollars in each account, please. Se nos fue la teacher. Aquí teacher. I'm connecting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm connecting the computer. Teacher. Hola. Ah, ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra que me costó? Mini, ni, mini, no sé qué. Mínimo. 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 Sí. A mínimo. Ah, ok. Espérenme que cuando uno llega a viejito, ya le cuesta hasta conectar la computadora. Va, ahí está, ahí está. The thing is that the, the outlet is behind me. Uh, I'm ready. That's a minimum, a minimum of fifty dollars. Minimum, minimum. Okay, teacher. Hmm? Gracias. Thank you. A ver, Edgar, choose my next volunteer, and Tamara will choose the last volunteer too. Uh, okay, teacher. Wait me. Voy a ampliar la. Uh, no, you will choose Marcelo and <laughs> hey, Marcelo say, sí, porque yo teach. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Aquí estoy, lo que pasa es que todavía estoy trabajando. Por eso. Oh, uh -huh. por eso. Okay. Jenny is a night teacher. Lo siento, teacher. Ok, Marcelo. Me abandonó Marcelo hoy. No, no, Tamara, lo que pasa es que digo, ahorita esclavizado, ahorita. <laughs> oh, so sorry. I know December is is complicated. Sí, it's complicated, right? exactly. Yeah, sí. December is complicated. Who's, who's a, Adonai? Mm -hmm. Who's Adonai? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Do you hear me? Hi, Dennis. Yo como diría, Adonai, ¿quién es Adonai? Ok, yes, Dennis, I can hear you. Now, ok, ok. A ver, who will be my next volunteer, Tamara, to read with Dennis? Um, darling. Darling. Pacha, darling. Ready. Darling, darling, hello. Is darling there? Señorita Darling. No, here, Darling. Sabrina. Sabrina, hello. Yes, Sabrina. No está Sabrina. Vela. Vela uh, o Mansor. Ok. Bella, 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 hello. No está tampoco. Teacher, si quiere yo ahí ahorita tengo turno. un par de minutos aquí sí, y, y, ah, y practico. Ah, vaya, vaya. Excelent. Vaya, Marcelo, Marcelo, ¿quién fue el que me dijo que tiene un par de minutos? Sí, 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 yo. yo, yo. Ah, vaya, vaya. Ok, go ahead, Jen. Um, okay, good morning. How are you there today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open up an account, please. Uh, what skin would you like to open? A skin account, please. Uh, would you also like to open a... Um, so savings, a savings account. A, a savings account. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Thanks. Uh, in the order, order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of uh, 50, 15, teacher, 50, dollars? 50. 50. $15. $15. dollars 50 dollars you deposit $300. 300 mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I've, I'll sell up your account for you right now. Make sure you put 
105 dollars each account. Yeah. 150. 50 dollar account, please. Thank you, chicos. Thank you very much. Okay. Great. By now, check. What are you going to do here? As you saw new vocabulary, you're going to use it, right? This is vocabulary from the conversation. What are you going to do? You're going to write a sentence with each word. So you don't have to write six sentences, but you write three, right? So you write three sentences. That means you choose three words for your uh, sentences. I'm going to give you three minutes for you to write your sentences. Sure, go ahead. I'm going for some water while you finish. Remember three sentences, one with each word. Well, you choose three words, right? And you write three sentences. Go ahead. Okay. Two more minutes. And then you chair. Remember, you decide the ones you want to use, right? Whenever you're ready, you let me know. Sure. Yes. Three sentences. Three sentences, exactly. Okay, number one is, uh, for example, every Friday, I check my saving account. Okay, very good. Number two, I am saving money to buy a farm. Okay, great. If number three is uh, I have a new bank account. I have a new bank account. Excellent. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Maxis. Another volunteer. Mm -hmm. One more me, volunteer. Me, teacher. Yes. Okay, go ahead, Miguel. Okay, good morning. I need to open a savings account. Number, number two, how much money can I deposit? Great. And the number three, I, I am saving money for my next trip to Buenos Aires. Hey, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Very great. Now, do I have another volunteer? Hmm? Who's ready? Only three. A ver, Carla Maria, tell me, are you ready? Carla Maria, and then we will listen to Gabriela. Vaya, Carlita, tell me, Carlita, what you have? Carla, Carla. Here, Carlita. A ver, Gabriela Maritza. Gabriela. <laughs> I'm changing your name, Gabi. Gabriela, ¿qué? I want to create <laughs> my bank account. Okay. okay. And second. I saving my money in the bank. Mm -hmm. And the last year I no the next week I checking account. Okay, I'm opening a checking account. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you very much. Gabriela, ¿qué Gabriela? Stephanie. Ah, Gabriela Stephanie, yo le estoy poniendo el nombre de Norma, Gabriela Maritza. Sí, Gabriela Maritza, no se te oye mal. <laughs> Mire, it sounds very good if you're looking for a, for a name for a child. We got it. <laughs> okay, who will be my next volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. Haha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Lástima que aquí no puedo tirarle un hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic, right? To throw your hot potato. Okay. Okay, me. Okay, I'm try it. Right. right. Um, sure. I think of my project, the other year is I deposit fifty dollars um for month. Okay. Okay. I'm check saving money ma in the bank. Um Every every month, okay, and uh, other is check check my my 
deposit. ¿Cómo se dice? Interés. The How do you rate. say interest? Rates. The interest rate. rate. Ajá, ok. Las, Check ajá. the interest rate. Checks, checks the rate. Um, La tasa de interés serían los interest rates. Interest rate. Check the interest rate. Yeah. Uh, every 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 month every month yeah definitely thank you thank you thank you norma one more volunteer who will be my next volunteer hmm? let's see i try to chair okay go ahead samara hey i need to open a bank account mm -hmm. number two maria is saving money for her vacation and jose deposited into her checking account okay great great excellent thank you tamara you see that is a vocabulary related to banking right or related to accounting. And that's something that we usually, uh, that we use, right? Vocabulary that we use every, well, we use it in Spanish, right? But it's common in our, in our vocabulary. Okay, now I have some questions, last questions for you. Oh, well, these are no questions, they are sentences. Let's see. Or oh, do I have another volunteer here? Another volunteer? No more. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You learn by trying, right? By a bit. Uh, tell me. You will tell me if it is true or not. It is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. Suppose that you have a company, see? Because what somebody told me one of these days, we don't know the incomes of my company. Yeah, it's difficult. But imagine you have a company. It's not important to know the incomes of the outcomes of your company. What do you think? Is it true or false? Hmm? False. It's false. Exactly. Last year, number two, last year, a company a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. What's your opinion about that? Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. What do you think about it? Do you agree with that situation? Yes, teacher. In my company, está pasando eso. ¿Cómo cómo puedo decir? Is is passing through? Is passing through, teacher. Now. Uh, uh, han bajado las ventas y eso está pasando ahorita wow imagine so in that case do you think it is necessary who it is necessary is it uh, not possible to avoid that situation for the company this uh, 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 any, ¿cómo le podría decir, dicho, pero? 
de text, de, de, text, de companies textiles en El Salvador, uh -huh. eh, low production. Eh, el, el Salvador depende de USA. Eh, there is recession, recession, y uh -huh. eh, eso trae consecuencias, teacher, a nosotros, a todos los. Ah, yeah, definitely. Definitely, because we depend ha dañado very, bastante eso. very strongly on that. Mm. And if the, thing is, that. the thing is that uh, be, people are consuming less, right? Ajá, mm. uh -huh. Tamara decía. Ay. <laughs> 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 Mire, at least, at least you were not singing, eh? At least you were not singing. <laughs> Once a student opened his microphone and he was singing very happy. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> sorry. You will become very famous. Okay, very good. And let's go for the last sentence. It is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested. What do you think? Oh. A profit mm. is ganancia, right? It's ganancias. Ganancia. It's very important uh, because I think um, the company uh, puede tener un control. Can control. I can control and um, Um, acerca de cómo poder mejorar las, eh, las inversiones. The investment. Uh -huh. Que en control de investment. Yes, definitely. Yes. Uh -huh. And that is if you know, right, that you're making a profit. Not a loss. So the opposite to making a profit would be to make a loss. L-O-S-S. -S, right, a loss. Okay. Good, good. A ver, any question here? No question. Mm -hmm. No. But the plus, let's see. It's 10. See? It's 10 p.m. So I'm going to call attendance. Tell me present. Let's see, let's see. Bella Lisbeth. Bella, Bella. Rajista Babela. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Darling Jasmine. Darling. Present teacher. Nice. Jenny Sadonai. Edgar Edgardo Present teacher No Eduardo Ete. Sí teacher I already Present. changed your name Ok, Gabriel Stephanie Present nice. Germán Agustín Present teacher Great, Germán Jessica Raquel Present mm -hmm. Carla María. Present. Okay, Carlita. Kelly Marcela. Good night, teacher. Present. Good night, Kelly. Marcelo Vladimir. A no, Kelly teacher. no la voluntariaron, niños. Tomorrow. <ríe> Eso estaba pensando precisamente. Sí. Bueno, y Kelly se nos perdió hoy. Se nos escapó ahora. Nos es que yo, yo, yo la vi como oyente, por eso no, no, no ah, la propuse. No, pero a, aunque tenga de oyente, pero mucha, eh, por lo menos en lo, cuando nos manda la teacher a los rooms, sí, participo. Así es que si me mal. hubieran dicho, yo participo. Sorry, <risa> que... Mañana no se nos escape aquí. <risa> Be ready for tomorrow, right? Okay. Yes, nice, Kelly. I like your this 
position, right? You're ready for that. Okay, Marcelo, Marcelo, Marcelo. Okay. Present teacher. Mauricio. Mauricio. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Okay, Moises Elias. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Norma Maritza. Present teacher, good night. Pedro. Present teacher. Okay. Good night. Pedro. Good night. Ronald Josué. Ronald, Ronald. Ronald. Sabrina Lisset. Present. Okay. Tamara Lisset. Present, teacher. Great. Waldemar. Walter. Present, teacher. Excellent. Vaya, a ver. Eh, hoy se queda conmigo Pedro. Ya. Yeah. Okay, well, see good you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. See good you, night. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Mm-hmm.